<clears throat> Hello guys, Tom Yoni here from Coding for Youth and welcome to uh, my Python tutorial series. Uh, in this particular lesson, this should, this should be lesson number 14. Uh, we have actually uh, been treating Python right from uh, the definition uh, to this uh, lesson. We have said a lot, uh, but before I begin with what I have for you today, I would like to remind you that this channel is actually created to encourage you to uh, try a bit of code every day. There are a lot of uh, resources out there that can help you. On Twitter, we have uh, 100 days of coding, 100 days of code. Uh, you can join some hackathon, so, you know, you know, partake in some challenges that will help you to, you know, to boost your coding experience. And also, there are a lot of resources also that you can uh, harness online if you encounter any challenge while you're coding. Okay, so uh, please, I will also want to encourage you to subscribe to this channel, leave your comment at the comment section, as well as like the, the video. Okay, so today uh, we're going to be talking about uh, Python uh, data type called list. Um, of course, list and uh, uh, tuple are, are the two most versatile uh, Python uh, data types. You can find it in every non-trivial Python program. Okay, so uh, list actually are used um, to store multiple items in a single variable. You know, we just, uh, uh, let's, let's say for instance, you have a single va variable called X, or let me say fruits, okay? Now we can store multiple items. Lists are actually enclosed uh, in the square brackets and the items of the list are separated with commas. So you have a square bracket like this, then you can now have, you, you can either use a double quote or a single quote, uh, you can have uh, let me use a single quote here. We're gonna have apples. <laughs> Excuse me, comma. That's the first item of the list. Then you can have mango. Second item of the list. Um, we can have sherry. Third item on the list. And then let me just put lastly, we can have. Um, banana okay then you close it now we can see that uh, each each we have a, a single variable called fruits or that has a several you know values okay or items now you can actually get each of these items using index but uh but then uh let me just say a little bit about about lists i said the uh, well lists uh, actually store multiple variable uh, values or multiple items in a single uh, in a single variable okay they actually we can say they are used to store collections of data it may be any type of data it could be a string, it could be a number uh, or integer, uh, floating points, uh, 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 numbers. It could be objects. Okay, you can store you can store objects in lists. Um, basically, list works very much. Um, you want to store multiple data. Uh, they are they are similar to tuple, set, and dictionary because they actually used to store multiple data multiple information multiple items okay so um i will i'll just say a little bit about list and then we'll now look at some examples so um uh, well, i'll say i was just want you to take uh, the following uh important characteristics of python lists okay lists are ordered i will be looking at them individually they are ordered and list can contain any you know, arbitrary objects, uh, list elements can be assessed by index, by their index, we can, we can get their elements, we'll be looking at all that, then we'll talk about lists, can be nested to arbitrary de any depths, 
uh, lists are mutable okay they are changeable we'll be looking at that and lists are also dynamic so well let's look at them the first one we talked about list to be ordered so we'll say i will say list are ordered and i'll just uh, state them here say lists are ordered okay so uh i will show you examples where i say list list is not uh, merely a collection of objects it is an ordered collection of objects okay the order in which you specify the elements when you define a list is an image uh, character of that list okay and is maintained for that list lifetime okay so let's look at an example uh let's look at an example of a list that has some elements in different order um, and, uh, and then we compare the two to see if the lists are the same okay so let's say we have um, we have this same items in another list and we're going to call this um, uh, let's give it a name another name this is fruits we'll call this um, bag okay and then we, we say it's equal to this then we'll just change the list order uh, we can bring sherry um, to where we have apples and then we'll put apples here okay now we have actually changed the order of the list now let's compare this list together the first we're going to do we are going to use comparison operator if we say let's print this we say fruits is equal to beg okay and then we run save and run you see we see we have false though the list have virtually the same in fact the same items but the order of the list is actually uh different okay and then let's look at um uh, identity let's use the identity uh operator to check remember we learned all this in the previous in the previous uh lesson we talked about uh, operators in python okay so you can you can you can watch that video uh, to see all the operators we have in python i think it's about two to three videos uh into the operators we talked about the arithmetic operator the comparison operator the um, the assignment operator comparison operator the identity operator the membership operator logical operator so uh this one is actually comparison comparison operator so we compare the the two the two variables fruits and veg though they have the same object we have four items in the first list apples mango cherry and banana we also have four items in the second list cherry mango apple apples and what and banana okay so but what we we'll compare the two with, with the answer is false the reason is that they are the order of the list are not the same so the that means the list the lists are not the same so let's look at uh, identity let's look at ident identity uh, operator we use is okay so say fruit is big if we if we save this and compare we see we also get false because the two lists are not the same if we compare the lists themselves without using the variables let's say you compare banana to be equal to to compare this first list to be equal to the second list let's just do that it will be very lengthy we just compare this and we'll say this is equal to this you see that the results will be diff will also be false okay when we'll, we'll print this we see have false okay because lists are ordered right i believe i was able to explain this better to you now another thing we can we we'll talk about the list can contain any any objects any habit any habit any contain arbitrarily objects okay uh a list can contain any as any assortment of uh objects now the elements of a list can all all be the same they can all be the same type they can be different types it doesn't matter okay uh, the first one i'm going to check is that they are they can all be the same type like what we have here now they they are all strings right okay we can also have uh varying types 
as uh, as uh, items of the list. So I'm, I'm I'm trying to delete that or the the one we just okay. So let's take away this. Okay, so we, we can equally have a list that has varying objects or varying types. For instance, we can have a list, let me say a list x um, that is equal to, we can have a string as a list. I'm going to just type this like this, string. Uh, let me just say apple. Then we can have a number, two, uh, uh, integer, three. We can have a floating point 2.2.5. 2. Um, we can also have a force boolean. Uh, we can have uh, what is um, okay. We can equally have an object in the list. Okay, let me just leave that as an empty object. Okay, or oh, let me just specify. I can just say uh, name. Okay, now I have to print this list. Uh, we have, you know, we have this list printed with different you know and data types okay so a list can contain multiple data types it can contain same uh, data types okay in fact they can even list can also com contain complex objects like you can have com functions classes and modules okay so all these are the things you need to know about a list okay um, like I said, list can call even function. You can have a list that contains uh, that contains function. Okay. Uh, for instance, uh, we can have uh, some built-in function. You know, in, you know, in the list. Okay. Now, uh, the the number of items of a list are not limited. You can have as many as you want okay from zero to as many as your computer's memory can can allow or can carry okay so uh how do we declare a list we are, we can just declare a list by assigning uh this comma separated uh items in the square bracket to to a variable we can only use a list constructor okay for instance let's say we have uh, we have this to be a tuple. Let me just uh, say big is it is a tuple, okay? Okay, if we check the type for big, you can say type, you say big. If you print this. You should give us class tuple, right? Now we can have something like this. Okay, using a constructor. We can have it, we can use a constructor. Okay, to we can use a constructor to actually uh, declare lists. So if you come here and say like this, if you print it again we have the list okay class list so a constructor can be used to to create a list or you can create a list by just assigning uh, by by putting all these comma separated items in the square brackets okay so um, we said list can contain any number of items from zero uh, from zero to uh, let me just remove this because I have said a lot. Uh, from zero to to any amount that your computer memory can carry, right? So you can have a list of zero to hundred, uh, zero to a thousand, and all that. Um, 
Now, a list with a single object is sometimes referred to as a singleton list. Okay, singleton, or, uh, singleton list. List object uh, must not be or must not be unique. So, a, a given object can appear in a list multiple times. Okay, um, like we have our veg here. I already have it in my prints uh, function. So, if you say veg. We can have multiple items in a list. So you can have a list of, uh, let me just use sounds of animals. So we can say back, uh, meow, mm. and then we can say woof. Uh, we can have another back. Uh, we can also have another pack, okay? So if you print, if you print this, let's say we print, we have a list and then we move the type. You see that each of the items will be printed, right? Now, uh, we talked about list, can, list items can be assessed by their index, right? So if you come here, we say zero. Remember that uh, array uh, list items, like, like I said, it is more like an array in other programming. List in Python is more like an array in other programming languages, like uh, uh, JavaScript. So the index starts from zero. So we can assess the index of the list uh, by you know having the the variable. And then we have our square, our square bracket, and then we put the index. So if you check this, this will give us back, right? So give us back. If you change this to one, it will give us mu, right? So you can assess um, different items of the, of the list, okay? Knowing uh, the, the, the index number, okay? So, uh, we can, you can also, uh, let me see what else I want to talk about list. You can use a negative uh, indexing to assess the list item. Now, if we say minus one, uh, this will give us back, right? Starting from the back here, if we say minus three, uh, minus three, this will give us woof, right? So we have minus one here, yeah, minus two here, yeah, and then minus three here. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you can use negative indexing to assess uh, the 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 items of the list. Now let's talk about list slicing. Uh, you can slice lists by using the slice of you know expression. Um, how do you do that? Uh, we can have. Remember that it starts from. We start from zero. Then we have one, two, three, and four. So you can, if you start, if you just slice using a column, and you see three. This will slice from the beginning to item number three. So we have back the first one, mu, and then we have our woof to item number two rather. Uh, the three is exclusive, right? So we have one, a zero, one, and two. Okay, we can we can also start. We can want to maybe start from a particular number. This is the starting point. Uh, let's say we want to start from one, and then this is where we want to end. So starting from one, we have just two items, right? So we have mu. The one is inclusive. Uh, then we have if the tree is not inclusive it is exclusive okay so you can equally you can slice then if you want to slice from the beginning to the end or maybe you want to slice from a particular index to the end you don't need to put this the ending so you just put your column and then you leave you don't put the ending so you want to slice from if you want to slice from item number two which is going to be inclusive starting from mu to, to back okay 
okay uh, uh, starting from uh, yeah this is zero one two starting from wolf to back okay so we have three items so um uh, let's see other features now you can do negative slicing uh you can do negative slicing you can slice from a negative two if you slice from negative two to negative uh, four let's see the result that this will give to us is going to be an empty list right so if you start from negative one which is uh, to negative three this also gives us an empty empty list um, so let's say we want to start from uh, now mm, want to start from negative to three four to negative one so we have negative four which is specified here to be um one two three four okay so we're starting from mu down to negative two one two the back so we have three items we have three items okay uh, uh if 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 you're if you're using negative item look at what happened here when i use uh, one year that means i want to start from one then you have to go uh to the right right so if this is going to give you if i put four here it's going to give you an empty list okay because you're going you're moving your slicing is from your left to right right so if you do this you have an empty list so you have to start with a, a higher number then the ending negative value has to be uh, a lower number okay the higher number lower to higher rather so uh, we can actually compare positive and negative slicing together to see if they are equal for instance we can we have how many items here one two three four five right we have five items and we can say negative four so negative uh, negative one is it equal to is it equal to back and then we have um yeah, let's let's see this will give us this will give us one two three four million two so here right and then it will end so to get the negative the positive parts we're gonna it's gonna be one <clears throat> so four right so let's compare this if they are equal of course they are equal okay so you can actually compare the negative and the positive to see if they are equal um what else can we say um we can also do um uh, we can also do something like uh, mm, we can do a lot with with uh with with slicing let's let's just say a little bit about slicing um uh, let's do something like this let me remove this and then let me see um let's see big um let me slice so number four number three um plus uh big three We can actually compare this to see if it is equal to uh, 
the list beg right this is beg rather okay it's going to give us empty uh, yeah of course so if you print this like this let's say is it equal Going to give it true, right? It's going to be true. So when you slice from uh, zero to three, which is this, like this, come and you add that to so slicing from three down to the end. Of course, this is going to give you the complete list because. Uh, 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 zero the beginning which is zero to three will give you this item this item and this item right then when you slide from three down to the end we have this item we got this item number three and then this item so when you combine the two together uh, when you concatenate the two together or you add the two together you have the original list so uh, this is just a little manipulation, a little uh, thing you can do with list. Okay, you can have, a, you can specify a stride, uh, a stride. For instance, you can have, you can have something like this. Let me just do this now. You can have, you can have zero, and then we have four. And then we have, uh, we can have one. Let's print this and see what the results will look like. So we have Beck, Mio, Wolf, and Beck, right? Um, this is more like we want to start from zero, and then this will be the ending, and then also this because because the ending is not inclusive. One way, this is going to be the starting to this one, right? So, uh, what we're going to have here is four down to one, right? So we have we have this item, okay? Now we can actually look at this uh, reversing the lists. Okay, we can reverse a, a list uh, by by doing by using this um, um, uh, slice or slicing. We can have something like double slice, and then we have negative one. If we print this, we have the list reversed. So we have the back, this back here now, being at the end. Okay, and then we have the mu, which is this, starting from here, woof, and then we have the two back. Okay, so we can use that to reverse a list. We can leave, reverse a list by using a slicer. Okay. So um, remember that we can equally use this slice on strings, right? We can use this, this slice on strings, though the way they work on strings are different from the way they work on lists. Okay. Um, what else can we talk about uh, lists? Mm. Now, now I want to say that several Python operators and building functions can also be used with lists. Or the same way they are used with uh, with string, right? So we've talked about. Uh, uh, let's look at we have we have actually checked. We have actually used uh, the comparison operator. We've also used the identity operator, and um, we can the membership operator. We can actually use the membership operator to check if an item is in the list, right? For instance, we can we can come here and say uh, is back and the list in the the list back. I 
okay and if it is there you say true it is in the list back uh, back what if oh, oh, okay I was supposed to let me use this or sound I want let's say we want to check back in the list sound okay I just change the variable to sound well, this will be false because there's nothing like vague or let's say uh, Uber is it in the list sound false what if you say not in of course it's going to be true right it's going to be true we can actually concatenate uh, two lists together um, let me use num one I will say let me create a new list and say one two three and four then we have num two we'll say this is equal to uh, five six seven and eight okay so we can come here and say num one Um, two. Let's print this. We have a complete list of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. So we, we join we join the two lists together by using the concatenate uh, or the the addition uh, symbol. Okay. We can actually use replication um, uh, the multiplication multiplication symbol on this list. Let's do that. If you multiply these two lists together, you have. Mm. Ooh, uh, cannot we cannot multiply mm. country okay you said type error can't multiply sequence by non its of list of that list non int non int non integer Okay. Mm. Okay, what we could actually do is we could multiply this by the non int is that we can non multiply a list by a list, but we can multiply a list by an integer. Let's say if we multiply this by three, uh, of course, we have each item. Uh, of the list, which is list one, being multiplied. Uh, okay, so we have one, two, three, four, and then we have one, two, three, four, and then we have one, two, three, four. So the list is actually uh, uh, replicated. Okay, is replicated. So what's I tried to do earlier will not work because it's actually you multiply a list by a list will not work, but you can multiply a list by an integer, okay, to have replicate replicated lists. So you see that the items of the list are replicated uh, uh, more than uh, the amount of time uh, amount of the integer you are multiplying. So we have two here. We're going to have the the the, the list items not you know, replicating itself, okay. So we can have we have two times of what we have before in the list okay so that's what you can do with the multiplication operator you can actually check the length of the list uh, by by i believe we understand what i just explained so we can check the length of the list by using the length function um we can say length num one and then this will give us uh four right to give us four we can check we can use the mean, the mean and the max function to check uh, the minimum uh, and the max of a list, like uh, the items of the list, how many times they appeared, and and all that. Uh, so, for instance, if I have a list that has, uh, let me see, if I have uh, two now. I have another two. If I check, if I say mean of this list, this will give me one, right? If I say max 
of this list this will give me four you can actually check the maximum uh, number that's for for a list of uh, of integers what if this list was actually uh, a string can could i have seen, uh, still been able to check the max and the mean of course uh, let's say this is apples and then i have mangoes okay then i have another apples Mm, and then I have Sherry. Sherry's. Okay, so if I check the marks, you see mangoes gives us the marks. Uh, so me, apples. Okay, uh, So uh, we can see that strings and lists behave almost um, almost the same the same way, similar. Okay, they are both special cases of a, a more general object type. Okay, and we can call the iterable. Uh, tables We can actually, you know, uh, iterate through the items of the list. Okay, uh, for instance, let's look at something like. Uh, uh, let's look at further things we can talk about a list. So I want to say, for instance, I can actually we can actually loop through the items uh, of this list. We can say for x in num one. We can say print x right. And if we we can, we can actually look through the items uh, of this of the list starting from apples down let me just raise this up a bit okay so we we can assign each of each of these variables to an, to a variable each of the items of the list to a variable a variable x and then we we'll look we'll look through it okay uh what else what else what else can we see we have checked the index, we have, we have checked the slice, we have also, also checked uh, the identity, if a list contains a particular object. Um, we have also checked the length of a list. Uh, let's talk about nested list and then I think I will end the class. Uh, what more can we say? We, uh, remember, I said lists are mutable. You can change, you can change the items um, of, of the list. Okay, you can change the items of the list. Um, there's you can modif modify a single list. Okay, mm, what else? Um, okay. We can actually prepend or add to a list or remove from a list. Okay, we can add, we can remove from a list. Uh, let's say we have this list. Let me just do that and then we we'll end the lesson. So uh, we can have this list uh, in number one. Uh, let me call them fruits instead of none. Fruits. Okay, now we can actually add. So this list by saying um, uh, I can add, I can say fruits plus uh, using the assignment operator and then I can add more items to the list. I can add for guava. I believe I spelled that correctly. And then I can add more items I can add melon okay and then let's print this list again list fruits see what we have here 
So uh, we see, you see that we now have extra items in the list, the guava and the melon, okay? Uh, I want you to also take note that um, any operation you do on a list, we create a new list, not like strings. Um, okay, so we can actually add to a list, and then if you print the list, you have the new list, okay? We have the new list, not the old list. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, what I just did here is the same thing as as this. Fruits. Okay, I believe that's correct. Yeah. So it's the same thing with loss equal to. Okay. So, I believe we talked about this assign, assignment operator in our previous lessons. Okay, um, so there are lots, lots, lots. We can have methods that modify a list. We can, we can use methods like super, upper to you know change all the case of a list to an upper case. We can have appe append. We can actually append an item. For instance, we can come here. Uh, to a list, we can say, uh, um, let's say, um, list that append, um, this function. Let's see whether this will work. So we're just testing out this. Of course, uh, by so doing, we're actually appending this, okay, to the list, for the end of the list, okay? We can actually extend also, we can use extend, and say extend the list by this. Okay, when you extend, you have this, but when you append, you add the different object uh, data type to the list. So another list inside the list. Um, we can also insert. Okay, we can insert. We can use insert into the list like this. Insert. Mm. Let's say insert. Set type error in static exactly two arguments. Okay, that's correct. So we can insert. Let me just insert. Let's say three and uh, four. Insert this. So we have uh, the position, the index. The insert actually takes two arguments, right? It takes the index where you want to insert and then the value. So we want to insert to the index is three, starting from zero, one, two, and then three. So it will come before the cherish, cherries, okay? So that's what insert, that's, that's I believe these are uh, string methods. Uh, they also work on lists. So we can actually remove from from a list, we can remove an object from a list. We can decide to can say remove, um, and then we can remove apple or cherish. Okay, and if you print the list, you have a list without cherish. Okay, so we can have we can use pop. Okay. Uh, to also remove from a list, okay, we can say pop, and then uh, we can we can equal we can indicate the index. We can say index equal to minus one, <laughs> something like this. Um, no, okay, it takes more arguments. Um, sorry. So yeah, that's correct. All right. So that we can we can actually um, 
it removes from the list okay so pop should actually remove from the list remove the last item in the list um what else can we do uh, about the list so we say list are dynamic i think that's the last thing i want to talk uh okay so we have checked many examples and we can see that when we add to a list the list grows right a list can also shrink we can delete from the list just like we have been adding you know to the list you can use you can use uh, the their keyword or function um, uh, to delete from the list so we can say roots and then you can delete by the index we can say we want to remove the first item index zero from the list mm. let's run this it's going to give us an error right um of course so see you can delete the first item from the list by using the, 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 the delete uh, keyword okay um well so far so good we have said a lot about the list we said we've, we've talked about um, the characteristics of a list the things you need to know about the list uh we said they are ordered we've talked about we checked that when you compare two lists together that the list uh we can see that they are, the list are ordered we also talked about um, we also say they are mutable this can be changed um, they can contain any objects any data type they can also be assessed by their index we checked a lot we can remove we can add to a list we can nest the list uh, we say list are dynamic you can you can delete from a list so so far so good we have said a lot about the list here so we'd like to i would like to end it, the class the this lesson here because i have taken so much time so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in another uh, lesson have a nice day please don't forget to subscribe to the channel see you guys in another lesson